Um, I was once interviewed in a basement, but it turned out that it wasn't a talk show. And I don't like to talk about that. Today we have Seth Rogen in the building, y'all. Good to see How's you guys. How's it going, man? I'm great. The only guy who might smoke more weed than me. It is might that, be possible. Is that possible? Do you How have much a, weed do you smoke? A do lot. You, me too. So. <laughs> <laughs> it could be a draw. <laughs> do you track your daily intake? No. No? You just just out here just I'm just out here smoking, man. <laughs> When's the last time you looked and you were, like your supply was low? Oh man, not in a very long. I mean, if I'm somewhere where it's hard to get, then that's something that I have to monitor. Yeah. How much do you keep to just be sure? Like, uh, I know I have to have a certain amount in reserve just in case there's like a rainstorm or something happens to well, my Well, I live in LA mostly, which right. there are stores everywhere. So oh, it's yeah. not hard to get wheat. Like, I forgot uh, we're living much, that yeah. struggle in New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 You just got to take what the guy takes out from under his balls. No, exactly. Like, yeah, yeah. I've seen it. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've bought <laughs> weed here in New York and it's a it, it's an adventure every yeah, time. Clandestine I don't know when operation. the guy's going to sh- I hate, like, oh, that is just, listen. It, it's a level of stress I it's have, like, not, I haven't dealt with it in so long that whenever I'm here and have to deal with that, it's just, it sends me back to high school, yeah. and I'm just like, when's this motherfucker gonna yeah, call? Yeah, what's I, I it's like, like a four hour service. window yes, well, he's every you time. From 9 I'm to like, 12. you never know. Yeah, I have no it's idea. like cable. It's like, yeah. cable either take like... 20 minutes, or he'll just never fucking just show never up. Show yeah. up. Yeah. And then Yo, you, my bad. Hey, yeah. You text him the next day, like, hey, hey how's it going? Oh, yeah. yeah. Remember Maybe me? My code was wrong. And you get a, yo, my bad. Exactly. Like, no, you're not sorry at all. Who has better weed, LA or New York? Because okay. I've noticed yep. LA has very smooth weed. Yeah. New York's weed has a little bit of harshness, much like a New York existence, which I need. I f- exactly. I find that now they, I think they just get LA weed everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Like, I think I feel so like by the time it gets it. over here, though, it's a little drier. It's maybe a little drier. A little drier, a little, drier, that's a little okay. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, yeah, it's in an improv fine. class. In general, the weed in New York, I found, has gotten much better. Over, yeah, it has. Yeah, over the yeah, last, definitely. like, 10 years or so. Yeah. yeah it's the menu went from, like, three options to, like, 10. Now. Yeah, there's different kinds now. You can request like by name. You don't have to just say weed. Yeah, and again, you're not just, like, praying some motherfucker's yeah. going to show up. <laughs> but speaking of that, you have, like, a weed fucking conglomerate. That I have a weed company in Canada, mm-hmm. only in Canada right now, where okay. it is federally legal. <laughs> a... Words. See, that's just <laughs> the camera. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's <laughs> federally legal. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is all above board. Stop yeah, playing. Yeah, it's, it's scary out here. Are you ready to make the move to the United States? When if, if we're it looking ever... at it, we're looking at different ways to do it. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm open to it. Well, I mean, obviously, it's. I a, mean, if you need a brand ambassador. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know I, mean? I would love to Catch provide Americans asleep. with fantastic weed as well. <laughs> so uh, it's a, it's an honor. I mean, it, yeah, it's something that I've obviously been passionate about my whole life, and to be able to actually own a weed company, it's... Yeah, that's the it's, flex. It's, it's fantastic. I'm would you proud. ever think that you would utter that phrase, like, I no, own a weed company? No, I actually did it. And, like, I remember... It's funny, I remember, like, as a kid, and this just shows what a, like, stoner I was, I would buy High Times Magazine, and, like, it was just, like, in, like, popular science, I bet there was, like, a section where it's, like, what the future will look like. Uh-huh. They'll be flying cars, and everyone will have a computer in their hand. There was a weed version of that in High Times Magazine. I remember, as a kid, there was a thing where it's, like, you'll be able to buy a pack of joints in a box like it's a pack of cigarettes and I remember being like no fucking way <laughs> it's like, it, it was like <laughs> never yeah, yeah, I was just cool. like wow we imagine, I guys. and now it's possible it's a yeah it's a wonderful time you also <laughs> are a uh, defending stoner of the year uh, I was I mean in no, o- was that 07 it was 07 I was two times two, two times, times actually was two like, multiple champions it's good because they know you're gonna break one of them so <laughs> they give you two of them because it is a functional bong the award where do you where do you keep it it's on my shelf. I have it. I nice. still have it. But though I did actually break one of them because I would use it. And and bongs are meant to be broken. That's true. How did you win say. that award? Did you have to be nominated like a Webby or? I don't know what it was. Yeah, I was after Pineapple Express came out. They just gave it to okay. me. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> it was a weird ceremony though. I remember Funkadelic was there. Oh, like shit. a lot that of the sense. band was there. That makes and, perfect. And, sense. That makes perfect sense. And we smoked in. We were in a room like a quarter of this size, and there was like more just people. Smoking. It, smoke. it was. It was mm-hmm. one of those times where I'm just like, it, one of those rare moments in my life where I'm like, there's too much people smoking weed in this place yeah. right now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> What's the weirdest like site? Because weed is a social drug. Like I like I smoke weed by myself in my basement because I'm a weirdo. Yes. But like, typically you smoke weed amongst people. Like, what's the weirdest cipher view you've ever been in? Uh, I've been in some weird ones. One year at Comic-Con, like 10 years ago, Method Man wrote a comic book. So on. I found myself in a weed smoking circle with like all of my favorite comic book writers and Method Man, <laughs> which was a very 
weird group it's a very of people. Eclectic group. Yeah, I recently was smoking weed with Travis Scott, and just any time, I mean, just me and him comprise a weird weed smoking <laughs> circle. <laughs> was he but doing we, the ad libs? No, he, we get along really, really. He's he's a hilarious. He's like, fucking he's like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, true enough. Exactly, but. Uh, that was right, yeah, that was just like a week ago, so it's fresh in my head, but it was a rant, I mean, we, anyone who's, like, I, it, you always get along pretty well with yeah. people who smoke. I feel like everybody in LA smokes, uh, California, Hollywood. Smokes Most smokes people do, yeah. in some capacity, unless you're like sober and don't, right, which that's a always, lot of, yeah. is also a big LA thing. Is weed, <laughs> oh, no, I'm sober, bro. Yeah, is, weed like like, is weed now what cocaine was in like the 80s in Hollywood? No, nope. no, I don't think so. I think cocaine is what cocaine was. I think cocaine. Yeah. Now, yeah. <laughs> I the it's amazing when, like, now I watch any movie almost between like ni- nineteen eighty one and nineteen eighty nine, and you're just like, oh, this was like a coke, coke. fucking uh-huh. rampage. But it is, <laughs> like, yeah. they, it was like the strip was written on. Yeah, coke? there's like or there's the whole movies where you're just like, this whole movie is like a. Coke fucking Yo. manic. Like, they didn't know what they were doing. Like, they just Coke? woke up one morning and it's like, oh, we made a whole fucking movie. Holy shit. Because I remember, like, thinking, like, you never see people, are, like, doing Coke. Mm-hmm. But, mm-hmm. like, but people are doing they it. They come on the bathroom. Every now and yeah. then you, yeah. you, yeah. you see someone get a little too blatant with it, do it right. Oh, yeah, and no, I'm like, shocked. Oh. Even, you know? <laughs> I'm like, oh, we doing Coke. What are we doing? He's like, excuse me, this is a baby shower. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, the baby wants some? Uh, yo. Well, yeah, you're doing key bumps yeah. by the lo- ice loo shot thing? Key bumps, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you, how do you do a key bump now if you have like a Tesla? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Elon Musk, you fucking up the game. You just dump it all, yeah. Put it on the hood of the Tesla like, no. <laughs> the last great moment cocaine had was the movie Flight. Where the message of the movie is almost cocaine will solve all cocaine your problems. Solve problems. <laughs> and, no. and, 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 and if you just the... stick by, yeah. if you just stick to it, it mm-hmm. will fix everything. That was like the yeah. bummer that he went to jail at the end of the. I movie. know that was I almost the more. I was like, whoa, this is a bold film. Yeah. Whole movie's about how cocaine saves. The I day. feel like he Crazy. saved the people on the plane. Like, why did he go to? Like, yeah, he was coked up when he flipped the plane, but uh, they yeah. landed. Yeah. yeah, only a cokehead would think to flip the plane upside down. Yo, watch this shit. Watch this shit. <laughs> say I won't, say I won't. <laughs> like coke and move. Oh, man. Shout out to Denzel, though, for literally being in every possible vehicle you could be in. Yeah. And saving the day, like a yeah. train, a plane. Everything. A you got to do a hovercraft next. Yeah. Denzel yeah. only Just works with vehicles. They're the only, his rider. only thing that'll work with Denzel Washington anymore uh. is a vehicle of some sort. <laughs> so, yo, you he's a tough dude. Me. I've heard he's scary. <laughs> you have 500 movies. Yeah. We just talked about doing a Coke movie. Yep. When are you going to do a Coke movie with us in it? I'm, whenever you guys yeah, come are on. ready. It writes itself. I'm in. It writes itself. Yeah. I have no idea what it's about. but uh, We'll figure it we'll out. We'll figure it out. Yeah. We'll... I know what'll help us write it. <laughs> <laughs> and it won't take eight years. We'll do it eight hours. Yeah, Terrible. It'll be very bad. I guarantee that. We're just going to do a Game of Thrones type battle on Sunset Boulevard. Yeah. 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 4,000 extras. No, five. Yeah. More. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just more. Let's get them all from Silver Lake. <laughs> Excess. <laughs> Excess more is more. Oh, man. Sometimes more is more. You guys are both subconsciously grabbing your noses as you talk about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, wait, uh, the, I like that you use the word subconsciously. Yeah. <laughs> so, long shot. has to go wrong. Yeah. Is long shot like a, a weed smoking movie? Do I like eat yes, edible before I go? You should. Why not? Like it 250 make it milligrams. Yeah. yeah. I like it. It's a comedy. There's lots yeah. of funny shit in it. There is drugs in the film. Shout so. out to you. <laughs> you are living every stoner's dream because every one of your movies is a plot line someone comes up with when they're high. A lot you of You actually just do the work. Exactly. I just <laughs> I, I just worked for eight years after go. that. The rest of us yeah. like, yo, yo let me do a movie about. Oh yeah. Yo, Some of them don't. sausage party a hundred percent was an idea that we would like joke about mm-hmm. high. It came from the title first. Oh, like yeah. in press, people would always ask us what movie we were doing next. And as a joke, we would always say, It's called Sausage Party. Mm-hmm. Because that sounded like whatever it sounded it just sounded like it, we should be making a movie called that. And then one day me and Jonah were like what would that actually be? And then that we made a whole fucking movie about it. But it took us like 10 years, so it, it takes a long time. Yeah. That's what we've been hearing, because we've been yeah. trying to do movies and stuff like that, and everybody's like, Jordan Peele said the same shit. He's like, yeah, it took me eight years to yeah. write this. Or no, it's true. Years, yeah, for whatever. years I would talk to him. He'd be like, I'm working on this horror movie, just working on this horror movie. Like, it, and like, yeah, it takes for fucking ever. Like, uh, for a good movie. For a good movie. Okay. I've made very bad movies in very short periods. <laughs> 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 like, yo, here's the, I wrote the, the shit truth a week. is, like, it, it's almost easier to make bad movies. Yeah. Like, 
like the movies where they're just like, yeah, just go for it. Them out. Like, those generally are not good. And the ones like this, like, I, yeah, like it took us almost 10 years to make this movie. And I think that's why it's good because like forces you to fucking work on it for 10 years. And if it sucks, you probably won't work on it for that long and you'll get rid of it and you'll start working on another thing. So there's like a Darwinistic thing to it, I think. So being high, like I find that I don't get as high as I used to get when I was like 15. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you combat that? Like, do you do, are you like, yeah, I'm going to do three dabs in a row? No, like the part of <laughs> I don't do any, I don't fuck really that much with like the dabbing. shatter and dabs. Yeah, and that's, that that's, it's like the, that. that's getting into like a little what's intervention. The torch comes yeah. out. I'm like, I heard, like, what's my friend? Like, I had a friend who's like putting on like safety equipment and like, and it's just, a timer like, and shit. Exactly. Like, it's like, as soon as it's like, like plutonium's involved. Yeah, yeah. that is breaking it, bad. It's yeah, too much. It, it's like, yeah, once there's blow torches and shit, I'm like, that's a little, for me personally, it's a little much. Uh, I'm still amazed at how weed still works. Like I, for sure, it's not as much as like, like when I first started smoking it, but you if still anything, feel it. it's one of the most like consistently functional things I purchase. Yeah. You know, like I'll buy shirt, I'll buy like three extra large shirts, and they'll all be different this fucking sizes. sizes. But like, weed, weed, is weed gets me high every time yeah. I smoke it. Uh, like I've never returned weed, you know, <laughs> um, but I've returned a lot of other shit. <laughs> so it, there's, it's always working well enough that I'm right. like, yeah, I mean, uh, this is what I paid for. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with that. Elevator pitch. Yeah. What's the movie about? Long shot, uh, I play a journalist. I point at you guys, kind of, yeah. <laughs> Washington yeah. Post, journalist. journalist right yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, I'll say it. Uh, who's unemployed. <laughs> um, and I uh, was babysat as a child by Charlize's character, and she's become the Secretary of State, and she's running for president, and she hires me as one of her speechwriters because I'm a good writer in the movie. And, um, and then we kind of have a romance. Um, okay. Yeah. Was this your way of secretly telling Hillary Clinton you want her? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't need a secret way to do that. <laughs> I could just come out and do that. Uh, <laughs> just put the shit on Twitter, bro. Exactly. Make it happen. More Matt and Albright. <laughs> hey, now, now we're talking. Exactly. Now we're talking. Yeah. Fuck that. Speech. Angela Merkel, bro. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Now we're getting messy. Let's get messy. Timon and Pumbaa. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, no, have, I you've apologized. Have, I've apologized you've apologized publicly so many times. Before. <laughs> I would just like to go on record and leave this it. man alone. Leave him alone. He has nothing fault. to do with the process. Every, every, it was every, time, every time a new trailer comes out, I am, I wouldn't say flooded, but there's still a lot of holdouts for They're people like, who. Fuck who yeah, I, was like, exactly. I was like, he's a nice guy. Who thinks I personally prevented you guys? They don't. They don't. They don't understand yeah. how they it works. Don't get how casting works. Like you guys were there, and I just fucking shoved you out of the way. To the outside world, like you're Michael Jordan, and we're Isaiah Thomas. Exactly. And we're not on the dream team because of you. It's yeah, not that's full. That's not what happened. It's not but what happened at all. I wish I could share it with you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Is that weird though? Like seeing, because Lion King being like an iconic Disney movie yes. now, they CGI'd it all up. And yeah. It's super weird. It's weird because I, I did a lot of it with the actual people though. Like, and I did have to sing in a small room with Donald Glover, which like is not. No, no pressure. No, it's the one of the worst things I've ever had to do in my entire fucking <laughs> life. And like, and the whole, normally I'm in those types of situations that I'm able to tell myself like, oh, I'm funnier than this person, but I'm not even funnier than he is, I don't think. Like, I have nothing on him. <laughs> he is more handsome, he sings better, and he's arguably just as funny as I am. It was, a, and I'm like this fucking close to him the whole time. Like, it's, uh... It was really a uh, hum it, it was a bummer. It bummed me out for a long time. You can be like, I'm way higher than you right now, though. I don't even know if that's true. Wow. <laughs> no spoilers, but does Simba get revenge in this one? Yeah, we changed all of it. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. I didn't like the last ending. No. <laughs> he uh, killed Scar with the fucking, the fucking AR. Yeah, exactly. With the gold <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's, uh, it, it's controversial, but <laughs> I think people will like it. Oh, wow. Yeah, shit. Oh, Passover, right? It was Damn. just Passover. It was just Passover. Jew gang. Uh -uh. You got your parents here. Uh -uh. Parents Shouts, are here. Shouts to making him. <laughs> you know what I mean? How was your Passover? How was it was. I didn't do anything for Passover. No, no, no. brisket or nothing. Wow. I actually no, no. I had a very small. I actually did make. I made tri-tip, which is like a California version of brisket. I guess <laughs> I don't keep Passover I anymore. Don't know. I gotta ask no, this question. No, you gotta man. ask. I'm Jewish. I, I, I'm, yeah, I, I learned through y'all. Yeah, no, my Passover was it. fucking lit, bro. What do you do? I just ate mad fucking brisket and then blew up my mother-in-law's bathroom. Nice. You know like I was in the shit. They were like, ah, he's been in there for half an hour. We're, we're putting dessert out. We're putting dessert out. You want some jelly rings? Do they keep Passover? Do they yeah. eat matzah and shit yeah. like that? All that. that. Matzah Komen, all that shit. We hide it. Matzah Komen's you know I mean? different holiday. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, yeah, but is it? 
Yeah, no, 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 yeah, it is, uh, no. it is Passover. Oh, yeah. you're totally right. Seder play was on. You know more about Jewish shit than I do, man. Why was I when I brought it up, though? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> telling you, I'm gonna start fact checking these holidays, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I got too many of them. Say, but uh, yeah. you know a Jewish level of Jewish shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> just enough. Shout out to my yeah, wife. Shout out to my mother-in-law. You know what I mean? Did you convert? Uh, no, but I just like it's lit because it's like double holidays now. Because like a I was raised Jewish Catholic, holidays. and yeah. then my wife was raised Jewish. So there's it's like, a lot of overlap between yeah. Catholic people. You know what I mean? So we, it's just like, yo, you get Christmas and you get Hanukkah. Yeah. My kids are spoiled as shit. We're both taught to hate each other a lot, <laughs> <laughs> and ourselves. I got it. Missing out. Yeah, my mother was very good at the, yeah. at the at the Jewish guilt thing. I learned. That that's yeah, a real, that's a real thing. It's a real. It's thing. a real thing. You see people whip it out. Yeah, yeah. it's like it's a weapon. Yeah. <laughs> pull it out. That is brand new. She's like, hey, you know, I, I helped you. I, you're not taking great care of the house that I helped you buy. Yeah, exactly. You know? yeah, and I was just like, wow, kind of okay, thank you, Drew. <laughs> what else are you working on? Um, I have a show that just got picked up for a second season, Black Monday with Don Cheadle. Oh, Black Monday. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to Showtime Gang. On Showtime. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I have a show called Preacher that's getting picked up, or that just got picked up for a, a fourth season. Um, a show called The Boys on Amazon. I have a movie called Good Boys coming out later in the summer with Jacob Tremblay. It's a very filthy R-rated movie starring 12-year-olds. Oh, shit. So I hope, I hope people are ready for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a wonderful thing. 12-year-olds, you got them cursing and shit? Oh, yes. It's I'm, like a filthy, filthy, filthy movie. That's like my it's like a live-action South Park film. I would love to do something like that, but then I, like, as a parent, I'm like, are the parents cool with this? But I'm like, if you're a stage parent, they were totally cool with it. Yeah. Yes, a hundred percent. We had some child actors on set the other day. It was cursing all left and right. They're smoking Newports. I was like, wow. Oh yeah, one of them is one of the kids in the movie is very religious though, and mm -hmm. it is funny. And, and I was, uh, we're like, I was like, how do you reconcile this? And he's like, my mother tells me to pray every night about it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow, That's that is <laughs> fucked up. Yeah, just <laughs> having to swear all day and then pray it away at night. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> That's a tough existence that kid has. Yeah, I feel bad for him, but he's very funny in the film. Are you following the playoffs at all? Not at all. Not at all. Okay. No sports for me. No sports. I did the shop a few weeks ago, and I didn't know who any of the people were. On it. The LeBron shop? Yeah. yeah. What was that like? What it was, was amazing, but I, 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 I felt I, I only knew Travis Scott and, and Pharrell. So what do you do when they're having like the wild basketball discussion? You're just sitting there. Like, I'm just sitting there nodding politely. Like, oh, okay. Hope you guys all win. Okay. Your respective uh, games. Uh, you I just all, want everyone to have a good time. You all seem good at them. I hope you have fun with them. Uh, what is, I, yeah, I hope all your shoes do well. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, just wishing them all the best. Oh my God. Open, I could literally they score. sit here and talk about weed and not sports for like a million hours, but we got to wrap it up because you are a very important person. Oh, yeah. Every bodega has a neon sign that says a message, uh, the sales, whatever. What is your neon sign? Love yourself. That's right. And he doesn't mean masturbating. I do, actually. <laughs> Specifically. <laughs>